we get to host men in this segment and I am, I am quite excited about it. They are, um, one is a founder and the other one is a chairman uh, for the board of trustees. That is Watoto Wasome Initiative. But you know what we do? They are here to tell us all about Watoto Wasome and tell us about the initiative, what they are doing with that. So I have Timothy uh, Struzo. I, I hope I mentioned, I, I, I said that correctly. And then there is Nicholas Nyaga. Karibuni sana. Yes. I hope I pronounced your name, <laughs> <laughs> your names correctly. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay, Karibuni sana. Yeah. What is, uh, this is the first time we're having men. So it's interesting. This wow. was this was a strength of a woman, a ladies show. Ah. It's interesting to have men on board. Thank you. You know? so are the first man. Yes, you're the first man <laughs> I am hosting in this segment, actually. Yeah. Karibuni sana. So what is Watoto Asome? Watoto Asome Initiative mm -hmm. is a uh, charitable trust that uh, is uh, sponsoring uh, blight and needy students towards secondary education. Mm -hmm. yeah. ah, when did you start Watoto Asome? Uh, basically, we started in December 2022, but our first court was in January 2023. So we are in the second year. We now have Form 2s and Form 1 because we started with Form 1s in 2023. So you sponsor um, primary, secondary? Secondary. 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 We pick those that have done KCP. Those are joining Form 1s. Why the interest particularly in the secondary? Uh, actually, this is an initiative that uh, uh, happened. Uh, it was not planned for. It just uh, happened that uh, we had a youth WhatsApp group uh, that we are doing various things, catching up, partying here and there. So we realized there was one kid in our neighborhood who has not joined uh, Form 1 one year later after doing KCP. And uh, we were very interested and we said uh, if we can do all these things we have been doing, we can chomambuzi we can throw parties, why not take care of this, uh, this child? So when we got interested and we started the, the logistics, we realized there are more. It's not just that one. And we had like five more cases. Then we said, uh, why can't we formalize, formalize this and uh, pick like 20 students? And uh, we started, uh, we did a, a very short uh, advertisement and we said uh, there is this group that is interested in sponsoring uh, students who are joining Form 1. And uh, within a one week, we had uh, so many applications, close to 170. Oh. So that's where we started. Uh, it was not planned, it just started. And then now we started uh, formalizing it. We started the process of registering. So in that first year, we, we picked 28. We wanted 20, but after short listing, after interviews, after we conducted the home visit, we were unable to separate uh, the eight, we mm -hmm. couldn't know who to leave so that we, we remain with the trend that we wanted. We ended up picking 28. Mm -hmm. And uh, moving fast forward, uh, this year we have picked the uh, 45. Oh, yeah. wow, interesting. So at what point did you make, um, uh, because I want to bring Nicholas into the mm -hmm. conversation, mm -hmm. at what point did you now formalize Watoto Summit to the point that now you have a board of trustees? So after, after we picked uh, our first cohort, as I said, it was a group, uh, it was formed by youths. And now we started, actually we, we used to change 100 bob per month to facilitate this. So we wanted uh, to legalize it. And uh, we tried uh, to do checks and checks here and there to see uh, which is the light uh, formation to register, CBO, NGO, and uh, we settled that uh, trust, charitable trust. For you to form a trust, you need a board. Now, oh. we agreed that because we are youths, we want a board now of uh, older people, mm -hmm. those who are experienced, those who at least can uh, uh, mm. yeah, as we do our things, we want to be oversighted by people who have been here before, who have also been doing this. Yeah. Nicholas. How, w what was your entry point <laughs> into uh, Toto Asome? Thank you so much. Um, like you said, my name is Nicholas Nyaga. Mm -hmm. I think it's important for mm -hmm. you to know mm -hmm. Mr. Nyaga very well. 
Mr. Nyaga is a, a long term a, a long term educator. Mm -hmm. I've been a teacher for 32 years. A principal of very serious schools for 24 years. And um, let me first uh, salute the youth of Mara constituency mm -hmm. who are the initiators or the, or the ones who started this program. L I want to underscore the importance of the youth as a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. The youth can, can, can create or destroy a country. Mm -hmm. uh, the youth of Mara constituency started a WhatsApp group whereby they were supporting this or the other politician. That was during the campaign time. Mm. And what happened is that after the campaigns, after the elections, they sat down and asked themselves, what can we do? Okay, we were fighting over this, over the mm. other, but what can we do as a youth of Mara constituency in Taraka Nithi mm. uh, to empower our people, mm. to transform the lives of our people, especially the vulnerable, the needy in our, in our society? That was the genesis of our Toto Asome initiative. Mm. They sat together, people of like minds, and they agreed. Let we have Mr. Trusto is the second founder. Our first founder is uh, a friend, a very good friend of mine in America called Elifaz Kimadi. I really salute him because he's, a, he's the power behind this also. He really empowered his uh, colleagues back at home to start this. When I was the principal of Yembe Boys, I was the principal of Yembe Boys, mm -hmm. Nkubo High School, Kaviani Boys. Um, when I was principal at the Yembe Boys, mm -hmm. we used to stay with Kimadi, the Elifaz Kimadi who is in the U.S. at Maua. Mm. And uh, during that time when I was uh, active in the teaching and the administration of schools, mm. I was very much involved in assisting needed children. My, mm. students, my students who were having issues with fees, I was assisting them, either from my own uh, uh, mm -hmm. domestic budget mm -hmm. or even creating uh, what we call um, uh, income generating projects. Like at Nkobo High School, I remember we, we created a, a, a pig rearing project, a poultry keeping project. At the school canteen, I took it over to assist the needed children. And we were able to take about 72 students to the university through that program. Very needed students who would not have seen the doors of the university. So that is where the, my drive started from. And Kimadi told me, you must come on board. I know what you have been doing in schools. I think this is the right time now to take, now that you are free, you, are, you have left teaching, you have left administ uh, the, the administration of schools. I think you can, uh, apart from whatever else you are doing, you can mm -hmm. come on board to assist these young people steer this uh, initiative to uh, other levels. That is how I came in. We had a board meeting, we had a meeting where I was, I was uh, uh, elected as the chair of the board of trustees. Mm -hmm. So I'm here uh, wearing that cap <laughs> of uh, the, the chairman board of trustees for Toto Asome initiative. How is it working with young people now that uh, Timothy has told us that they are a bunch of young people and mm. they decided to pick a bunch of older people to be able to blend in and give them some wisdom. How was it the first time they approached you to, to get into the Nini? I was excited because I'm, I'm quite passionate about uh, working with uh, young people. Uh, uh, having said I was a teacher for so many years, I developed that passion for working with them. So even after my early retirement, I, I, I thought this was a perfect opportunity for me to continue working with the young people for young people. Mm. And I really love the, 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 the your motto here, empowerment, empowerment of the youth. Mm. So this is what basically we are doing. Uh, assisting needy kids access education opportunities. Um, minimize uh, dropouts, or failure to attend schools, mm. and also the short-term goal, go our short-term goal is uh, assisting uh, in uh, increasing university and college intake, and the long-term goal is to assist them uh, attain employment, but most specifically self-employment. Mm. Because uh, I don't know if we say it, we are targeting, we have been targeting rather, children with very low marks at standard eight, between 200 and 299 and taking them to day schools, because that is what we can afford. This is very little money from our pockets mm -hmm. and from our friends. I've just mentioned Kimadi out there. He's the only one who gives some little money. We don't have any other external donor. So we can only take these kids to 
boarding schools. That is why we target those with those with very high marks. They are taken by the Kenyatta Foundation, Equator Foundation, and other mm. other sponsors. But these others have been forgotten. So we have taken them up with very low marks, even some with 150 marks, and we take them to day schools with the aim, ultimately, at the end of the day, these kids, we are going to work very closely with the TVETs, mm -hmm. vocational training institutions. Mm -hmm. We channel them there where they are going to do tailor-made uh, uh, skill-oriented courses, mm -hmm. the tailoring, uh, mechanics, electricity, plumbing, masonry, motor vehicle mechanics, a course that a kid takes. And even before he finishes or she finishes the course, they are already putting money in their pocket. Wow. Yeah, so, so that is our goal, our long-term goal, mm -hmm. and we are fighting ourselves of getting there. Amazing. Mm. Timothy, yes. we know of every place where we have people who have good intention. We, ha we, we don't miss those ones, those little ones that want to ride on help when they do not necessarily need it. So how are you able to sieve the genuine cases from the counterfeit ones? Uh, normally what we do, we start by uh, sending an uh, advertisement for application. After they apply, now we scrutinize them uh, according to uh, needs. First priority is given to orphans, total orphans, single parented, and uh, those with parents with chronic illness. So we first of all scrutinize the application forms. Uh, then uh, after there we, we conduct interviews and home visits. For instance, you may find uh, uh, someone is an orphan, but now they have uh, very well up uh, guardians, so we automatically dismiss. But uh, we make sure through the uh, interviews and home visit, we get the most genuine cases. For instance, uh, th during this year's interview, there are some people who had not applied, but they, they got the word. Eh? Uh, I thought was almost conducting interviews today and they just came. Now, uh, you know, we said that because uh, if you're not in our interview list, uh, we are not going to, 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 to conduct interview for you, but we said, uh, uh, I told our team now, we can just do it for formality, you are Siskiye Vibaya to a release too. But after conducting that interview, we found out uh, that really was the most needed. Uh, so I believe uh, we take the most genuine cases, and there are so many. We, only, we are only able to take uh, like 20% of the cases that we receive, and uh, we almost all genuine. What does the application process look like? Uh, uh, we have a very detailed forms mm -hmm. uh, that is sent there, uh, with all details that uh, we need to know. Your parents, siblings, work, school performance this form is also must be signed by the the primary school head teacher you are church leader and the assistant assistant chief now uh, uh, these people in the administration sector they are also very clever mm. when we are going through the forms there is a hint they give no an andika like you want this child supported but so you call them and they explain like uh, the child is going through a hell of time, but they are not that so needy. The parents are just reckless or... Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing, wow, okay. Malim, yeah. now yeah. let me call you Malim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Because perfect. I realized you are a potential, you might have been my teacher, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just realizing that I am a very potential student yeah. because I'm not very old. Yeah, sure. Yeah, so um, what are some of your roles? In in as a as a chair as a chair of the trustee. Okay, as the chair of the trustees, um, I I I am in charge of uh, resource mobilization. Mm -hmm. uh, just like I've told you, we have a few people who have been in our donors bracket, mm -hmm. the youth, uh, in our WhatsApp groups, and um, our personal friends outside the the, the WhatsApp groups. So I like coordinating that process of trying to ensure that we have some money mm. to pay fees for these kids that we have taken in. Yeah. Uh, like for example, we have uh, what we call the coin challenge. Every Wednesday we have a fundraising every Wednesday. Ah. The, first time, the first time I was the guest of honor. Every, every, every Wednesday we have a guest of honor amongst ourselves. Ah, okay. 
The first time I was a guest of honor and uh, mobilized resources, almost 100,000. Amongst the group. And I think this last Wednesday up to maybe around this Wednesday again, I decided to take a whole week doing fundraising for the whole week. I'm also hitting over 50,000 mark. Mm -hmm. doing the so I have to lead from the front in, th in terms of resource mobilization and also coordinating uh, the, the entire team. Ah. Yes. Mwilimu has mentioned about um, fundraising, which brings me to the next question I'd, I'd want to engage you on. Of course, because we have potential, um, our listeners, or rather our viewers, we yeah, have yeah. potential clients and we also have potential yeah, donors. Yes, what, what's the, what's the, what are your fundraising uh, events like or, or when do you have um, giving, when do, where do people channel their contribution? Because, you know, probably there's someone watching and they're like, I would want to be part of the initiative or rather, how do we partner with them? Uh, uh, we have not yet uh, been able to conduct any fundraising event. Mm -hmm. uh, our we raise money through membership subscription. We are a group of youths in our staff. We are about 200, mm -hmm. and we have different levels of uh, monthly subscription, starting from 1,000, 500, 200, and 100. Uh, apart from the monthly subscription, we do now the, the coin challenge. That is a mini fundraising every Wednesday. Uh, but we are also, we welcome also donors. We have a pay bill uh, that uh, we receive a donation with. But uh, our most, uh, the, the main uh, fundraising is the coin challenge and monthly subscription so far. What are some of the challenges you've experienced so far? Uh, challenges <laughs> is uh, finances, of course. Uh, like now you see, when we, we, we now have uh, 73 kids in school, and you know that is uh, four years and beyond commitment. Mm. As we are here, we have paid uh, all the previous uh, school fees, that is last year's uh, school fees, and uh, this second year, first term school fees, all is paid. But we don't have enough uh, to pay uh, second term, third term, and the next years, but uh, we remain hopeful. Then another challenge is uh, when you pick these kids, now most parents relax. You'll be called every other time, we don't have uniforms, we don't have books. Like they expect you to do everything that, uh, that is needed in school. Uh, we have also been, uh, we have gone to an extent of paying some of our student uh, lent. Mm. You find that we have a student uh, who they don't have any home, they live in a rented home and uh, they call you and they tell you, you know, my rent is due, and nyumba. And so, ulichukua yu mtoto na naenda shule, akifungiwa nyumba, hakuna kazi unafanya. So the main challenge is, uh, apart from the school fees, which was our, our motive, there are so many other expenses that are coming up. From your end, what are some of the challenges you've experienced? Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the aspect of resource mobilization definitely comes with a lot of challenges. Mm -hmm. Uh, people are willing to give, but uh, they have challenges. They don't want. I mean, they don't mm -hmm. have. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, and uh, of course, the people have uh, their own things they are doing, and the other people also who have an initiative like ours. You mm -hmm. approach somebody, they tell you, "I'm taking care of a certain number of students in school," so that one you cannot commit them. So that is one of the key challenges we have. So. And um, number two, okay, fine. We have a lot of support from our our uh, uh, ours is non-profit and non-political. Mm -hmm. But I must say and appreciate that we have a lot of support from our area MPs. His MP is very supportive. My MP, Igembe uh, Central, Mushimi Wandani Kele, who happens to be my former student. Ah. Okay. <laughs> He's also very supportive of this. He's <laughs> very supportive of this initiative. Yeah. My former MP, my MCA, all of them are my, <laughs> my, my former students. Mm -hmm. So they are very supportive of this initiative. And I believe the challenges we are talking about, we'll be able to, 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 to deal with, with them, uh, mm -hmm. with the kind of goodwill we have. Oh. The, the only problem with the challenges is if you don't have political goodwill, mm -hmm. then you are bound to fail. But if you have support from uh, those people who matter, the political class and even in the world of academia, 
uh, the, the working class, mm. uh, then we believe because we, we mean very well. We want to uh, we want to bridge a gap. Mm -hmm. As Watoto was on the initiative, we want to bridge a gap, a very 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 gaping hole in financing of public education. The government has always talked about the uh, uh, free primary and secondary education, mm -hmm. the 100 percent transition. Mm -hmm. If you look at it uh, analytically, that, that remains a, a, a pet uh, political talk show. Mm. Okay, <laughs> yeah, but uh, just just to, to say it for the sake for the sake of saying it, mm -hmm. as we are talking, there are so many children who have not been able to to, to join high school. How I wish we were able to assist them. Like we said, we already have over 70 kids through our initiative. Uh, and I believe that is uh, trying to bridge the gap uh, where the government has left some gap mm. and other, 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 other players in financing of education, the Equity Foundation, the Mokenyata Foundation, mm. and the rest. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What does your strategic plan look like? Uh, well, uh, uh, we are focused on, uh, we, we have a strategic plan mm -hmm. uh, with a very clear vision, a very clear mantra of um, 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 empower empowering the youth through education inclusivity. That is our mantra, that's our mm -hmm. rallying call. And um, like I said, we intend to, after, after the exit of standard eight, you know, we are, we are not going to have standard eight anymore. Yes, we are going to yes. have grade, uh, grade nine, grade 10. Mm -hmm. So we are focusing on now how to deal with that one. We are going to work very closely with the Ministry of Education with a view of seeing how we can now take off up after that level. Uh, you've answered something I, I wanted to ask. Now mm -hmm. with the transition over yeah, the transition. Uh, 844 yeah. to, um, what are they calling this thing, CBC? Yeah. How, how is that grade, going to affect grade, you? Grade 9, grade 10, yeah, yes. that, that's what I was saying. Uh, we are going to work very, we are going to seek uh, an appointment mm -hmm. with a very key uh, ministry official. Mm -hmm. And then we, we will be able now to craft a way of, uh, you know, coming, coming in. Um, Malimo has raised a um, very important point in terms of political uh, engagement with Watoto Asome. As a founder, do you, do you, would you want to venture into, um, how do I, how do I, I'm trying to find a way to um, frame this. Would you want to look at avenues you can put Watoto Asome in the ministry or rather in the uh, political spaces? I didn't get that. Okay, let me let me try to break it down. I think <laughs> I have it in my mind, <laughs> but I'm trying, <laughs> but I'm trying to, g given what Malimu has said in yeah. terms of um, getting political involvement of other people, uh, as a founder, what's your image? Are you envisioning that at a, at a point you would want to have engagement, more engagement with the Ministry of Education, with um, people's education stakeholders? with political uh, avenues, that, that is politicians. Uh, How open are you to that? Yes, that is what I mean. Yes, actually. we are very open and very consult consultative. Uh, where we started, as he said, eh, we picked 200 to 300 max students. Mm -hmm. The reason being, we started in Mala constituency, our MP is Karek and Yuki. Before, before we extended to Meru County, that is in Hegembe Central and South mm -hmm. and North. Uh, the reason why we picked 200 to 300 marks, we consulted with the, the CDF team that has been issued in bursaries allowed, and we realized that everyone who scores 300 to 300 and above, they get a scholarship through the CDF, not a scholarship, a direct bursary, automatic bursary of 10,000 per year. So now we thought uh, if you give someone 10,000 per year, uh, even if he is not able to join a boarding school, he can still join this school and 10,000 per year will be enough for this school. For mm -hmm. us, in our day, most of our day schools, we pay between 12,000 to 15,000 per year. So that's why we said we won't be taking anyone above 300 marks because they are already taken care of. But now you see those between 200 to 300, which are average students, Mm. Uh, they have no one to, to look up to. Uh, they are not getting this uh, the automatic bursary. Other, other uh, scholarship, other scholarship look at 300 marks and above or 350 and above. 
So our two are 200 to 300, no one is looking at mm. them. That's why we, uh, that we started there. And uh, even at now, we also we are very open. Uh, we have been talking with also the CDF team. They can see out of our, in Mala, we have uh, 60 students. Out of the 60, how many they can help with something small in terms of bursaries. Uh, and uh, as, as, as we said, uh, we, are, we are doing this course, but this year we have been able to, to pick a few students to join uh, secondary schools. Because you happened, uh, when we went to Egembe, the case scenario in Egembe is different. You find uh, like uh, there was one, uh, one student that uh, had already lost hope and he was already employed as a, a to take care of cows. Mm. You see, you find uh, someone had scored with 50, but so apart from this course, this year we have uh, we have took students to seven seven boarding schools. I think that is Chogolia Girls, Kobo Boys, Ukwen Girls, Kangeta Girls, Igembe. Maua Girls, and Igembe Boys. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. let, let me add. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a partnership. Uh -huh. And um, there are two there are two key. Uh, instruments mm -hmm. that uh, that uh, guide on uh, uh, ch children being in school mm -hmm. that uh, insist that education quality education of children is a guarantee mm -hmm. under the UN Convention of the Rights of the Child mm -hmm. and the Kenya Constitution 2010 mm -hmm. every child must be in school mm -hmm. But how possible is it? The government will not be able to do that. Mm. So we are. W this is a partnership. That is how I want us to look at mm. it. We are not in um, competition with anybody. We are only in competition in as far as bridging that gap is concerned. That is why we were quick to, uh, to commend our colleague, Mr. Kimadi, who is in the US, for being with us in this. Mm. That is why we were quick to commend our local politicians for being supportive mm -hmm. of this idea. Mm -hmm. In the same vein, the Minister of Education, which is the owner of all this process, I mentioned that we are going to seek an appointment with a key ministry official with a view of knowing how we can work together mm -hmm. so that they also know that we are assisting in bridging the gap. Ah. So it's a partnership. It's a wholesome. Yeah, it's a wholesome thing. It's a wholesome yes. thing. We, we are not, we are not uh, trying to take credit for anything. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's an unpolitical. We are not interested in any political seats, mm. so nobody should feel intimidated by yeah, they, they, I think presence <laughs> in that space. <laughs> I think every time people are doing such initiatives, some someone will think, ah, we are not going to come on here. So people are like, you, you won't they become an relax. MP. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, as mm. we almost come to an end of this conversation, mm. I want to ask you a question that I want you to answer as a, as a um, chair of the trustee, and I want you to answer as the founder. Where do you see? was total some initiative in a few years? Uh, I am seeing it very far, going very far, going places. Because like I said, we are interested in ensuring that these kids don't go to waste. Mm -hmm. Whether they had low marks or very high marks, but were unable to, to join high school. Mm -hmm. And even that, we have a component for training. Mm -hmm. Those who managed to go to the university, we are very hopeful, we are very prayerful that we will be able to facilitate them to go there. Mm. But the majority, the majority who may be joining middle level colleges, mm. that is our business. Because we are very sure that there are graduates out there mm -hmm. who are struggling to put a plate on the table. True. Who are struggling with their mothers asking for food. But there are certificate holders who, are, who have no problem with money. Mm. Okay? So th 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 that is where we, we, we feel we must go. I'm going to make an appeal to, to, to our colleagues. I said this is a partnership. Mm -hmm. In fact, it is starting from primary schools where we are getting these kids from. Mm -hmm. A head teacher calls you, Malimu, we have heard you have this initiative. Uh, we have a kid here, try to assist. I tell them, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> charity begins at home. That kid, make sure you have mobilized resources from the teachers, from the children, from the school committees. Ensure that they have uniform then bring that kid I'll take them to school. We'll pay fees for them. So it is starting from there. And they are, they are so excited about it. And we are uh, similarly getting very excited because mm. it, people are really buying that idea. Mm. 
So it only requires providing leadership. We have provided leadership. Pe people have small, small monies that can change mm. the world, that can transform the lives of these innocent uh, needy children. Mm. But they didn't know how. In fact, one of the head teachers was so surprised. Malim, how easy has it become? Eh? I didn't know what to do with this kid. I never mm. thought I was going to get this money. They got money from the teachers, from the school committees, from the children, from the, 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 the church. And they were able to buy uniform because we, we are not buying uniform. It is being bought by the teachers who are giving us these kids. Oh. So it's a serious partnership. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to appeal to the hands of secondary schools, the principals, where we are taking these kids. You know, the, 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 the policy of the Minister of Education is this, the, the, the schooling, education must be made affordable. Mm. And when we create other stories, other, 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 other fees, apart from what the ministry has indicated should be paid, then we are going to disadvantage some of these kids, especially those who are under sponsorship. Because those who are sponsoring kids in high school will only pay the official fees mm. as per the ministry's guidelines. So I am going to make an appeal to the, my colleagues who are the serving principals where they have an idea that a kid is being sponsored by small people like us. If there are some other levies, let the school take care of it. Mm. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. As a founder, <laughs> where do you see the foundation or rather the trust uh, going to in a few years? I see hereby it will be a very strong, strong uh, organization mm -hmm. with the beneficiaries now coming back to learn it. Mm. Uh, that is my dream. But before we get there, I think uh, because now we are, we, are, we are transiting from each for four to CBC, uh, we have like two years that will not be picking students. Mm. There are no students who will be joining from once. Mm. I was talking to chairman yesterday and I thought uh, there are so many students who are uh, sent home because of school fees, maybe in Form 2, Form 3, and they have no hope. Uh, I want to, to see whereby we can assist them go back to school before they are locked out of the 844 system. Because in four years' time, it will be a gone story. And if you are in the 844 system and you dropped out for one reason or the other, it will be very hard for you now to come back again. So in short term, we want to see that those who dropped out in the next two years, th that will be our job. Those who dropped out uh, because of financial reasons, we will be able to help them come back before the 844 uh, is, uh, before it transit to CBC. Mm -hmm. Then in long term, we want to see whereby our beneficiaries will now come back to run the organization. What has that? Yeah, with, uh -huh. with, your, with your permission, at the end, at the end mm -hmm. we, we, if you allow us, we can give the, the pay bill number in case anybody wants to as, as come on board. Okay. That, that 50 bob, that 10 bob matters. Okay. It can transform our life. Maybe, maybe at the end, we might be. We are actually, <laughs> we are actually <laughs> at the end because I we think we end. need to pay. Okay, finally. We need to pay. It's well. At, uh, at uh, Watoto Wasome Initiative, we have a mentorship component, mm -hmm. which is very key. Uh, after we have recruited a, 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 a kid, a scholar, mm -hmm. we, we attach them to a mentor ah. who does school visits. We also do school visits to check on the discipline of the child and the academic performance of the child. Mm. We are also doing home visits to ascertain that the situation at home does not become an obstacle to the achievement of this, of the, of this kid. Mm. Uh, sometimes in April, the 70, I think 74 kids that we have taken, we are organizing a boot camp for them. All those from Mara constituency will be driven to the Gembe Central Kangeta Girls. I'm talking to the principal there who will accommodate us for a day or two. We are going to invite key speakers. Even, uh, even, even some people who have never gone to school but are very, very successful. Yeah. People who are, who are the, the, the DJs mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff, uh, they, are, they are going to be there to talk to these kids. We are also going to invite some of our members of parliament that will be available, our MCs, uh, to motivate those, those children. 
So, so it's a, it's a, it's a long, long process. Ah, amazing. Any mm. other thing? Uh, I think uh, I would mention uh -huh. before the genesis of Watoto Asome, mm -hmm. that same was a group that was, uh, that consisted of Mala youths mm -hmm. who had now wa were even from post, post election mm -hmm. uh, talks. We, we were also able to, to form a circle that mm -hmm. is now thriving. It's called Mala Business Circle. Uh, with but now we were able to separate the two entities. What was Asome and the Sako, there are two different entities. The Sako has their uh, it has its own leadership, but they are doing very well. That uh, when I was coming here, I asked for a loan and it was approved very fast. <laughs> yeah. Amazing. I uh, it's well, Mali, which is <laughs> well. Uh, we understand teachers, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> teachers will always have something to say. Yeah, yeah. Can I, I, I was talking about the pay. Believe it's okay. We can give. Okay. No, actually, that's all. That's the end. Uh, that, that's the last question okay. I will ask. Okay. Where, where could we find you? Uh, mm. Where, where can we find what to ask? So, may just in case anyone mm. wants to reach out, uh, you can probably give out your contact mm, or something. Yeah. yeah. And so now the pay bill. Okay. So, okay. Um. For those who would wish to know a little more about what it was initiative, I will give my number 0728. Use the, use the camera. Oh, <laughs> because you're talking <laughs> to them actually. I will give my number 0728-568-050. I will repeat. Mm -hmm. My number is 0728-568-050. For those who would want to know more about mm -hmm. what it was initiative, and I'm also challenging them. Kenyans across the country, mm -hmm. start a small Watoto Wasome initiative in your village. Mm -hmm. And you 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 not know where to take those blessings. Mm -hmm. Maybe you share with those bl those blessings <laughs> with us. Yeah. Because they know you have a lot of blessings. And mm -hmm. um, then our pay bill number is 400 zero two zero zero. That is for Cooperative Bank, I think. Four zero zero two zero zero, then the account number is four double zero eight double four zero four zero two. Sorry, four double zero eight four four zero two. Yeah, I thank you. I'm done. Aye. We can, we can. To add on, <laughs> to add on. We, 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 we allow teachers to be teachers. Yeah. Yeah, so you can. I just want to, to add on uh, our social media and us. Uh -huh. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, at Watoto Asome Initiative. Also, our website is www.watoto-wasomeinitiative.org. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thank you for the conversation. Thank, Thank you for you. the good work you're doing. You know, it's not every child, especially those middle performing children, mm, mm. they're forgotten. Uh, what to put in. And some of those kids have the real talent. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Some of those, m sometimes people say, my talent is not even with those A scholars. Mm, yeah, talent sure, is with sure. the middle, the age, the uh, middle class children. Mm. But thank you so much. That's that amazing. was quite something. The first set of gentlemen we've gotten on Empowerment Cafe after changing it to Empowerment Cafe. That and much more conversations is what we are going to be bringing your way. Empowering conversations, conversations that make your day and conversations that are not just entertaining, but they're educative. I hope you carried something home with you today. My name is Chris Mindy. That has been Empowerment Cafe, but Val is coming back with more. Do not touch that dial.